Hello, welcome to uh, this video. Um, I just saw Toy Story 4 a little while ago and I wanted to make some kind of Toy Story related video because I really loved the movie. I think maybe it was actually one of my fa or my favorite um, of the Toy Story movies, or at least the sequels, I don't know. But I thought Bo Peep was a really cool character. I loved her new look and I thought it would be fun to try to make her as a sim. Um, it was actually a bit more challenging um, than I thought it would be. Um, just, um, I tried to give her kind of a doll-like look, but um, it was a bit more challenging um, to do in The Sims, even though they have um, that very cartoony kind of style. Obviously, um, I had to go a bit more for a natural human kind of look because the eyes can't go as big as they are um, on the movie character. And I tried really hard to find eyes that were, um, that didn't have a very prominent shadow underneath them or around them, because like I say, I wanted to have a really um, dolly look. And same with the nose. I tried to pick the nose that had uh, the least defined shaded bridge. And oh, and the hair was a nightmare to find as well. Um, there really was no, or I don't know, I didn't have any hair that I thought suited her, really. Um, I changed it a bunch of times and I wasn't really happy with anything. Um, but I hope, I don't know, I hope she turned okay. Oh, okay in the end? I always say that in my videos, don't I? <laughs> um, if anyone watches them, that is. I don't even know. But like I say, I love Toy Story and I really wanted just to make something fun and Toy Story related. And I don't, maybe I'll even make more characters in the future. I love Buzz and Woody. They're such fun characters. Um, they're my favorites, probably. Although, um, I'll do, I do like Bo Peep, obviously, but, um, I don't know. There's just something about, um, that friendship dynamic between Buzz and Woody that I just love. Um, and <laughs> am I getting off topic here? I don't know. I'm rambling. But yeah, oh, I did also try to make her sheep, which we'll see at the end, because I was kind of a short video idea and I wanted to add something extra, so I gave her her three sheep, and they looked kind of derpy. <laughs> I rushed a bit with the sheep, to be honest, but it was still fun to make them, and I'm excited just to have more characters for my game. I like having a lot of different wacky and wonderful characters. I don't really necessarily like the more realistic side of The Sims. I like to go for the crazy, uh, over-the-top, just fantasy elements. That is my favorite part of the game. And, oh, um, I am working on another build, but I thought, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my last video, but I thought I would wait until I or until they released the uh, magic pack to finish it because I felt like it could kind of tie in with that kind of thing. I don't know. I don't want to give away what it is, but I'm really excited for it. I think it's one of my favorite builds I've done so far and I actually plan on playing with it. Maybe I'll do a let's play kind of thing if I'm feeling brave enough. I don't know. I'm not super confident in doing like a live recording of me reacting to th things in game. I'm afraid I'm too awkward for that. I'm not charismatic enough. I don't know. <laughs> but I maybe it'll be okay. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, and her outfit was really tough to pick out as well. And I did um, I just ended up giving her that blue jumpsuit thing. I think it's from either Today Living or Get Famous. I don't remember exactly which one, um, which pack it's from, but, uh, yeah, it, I thought it was kind of reminiscent of the, uh, her new outfit in Toy Story 4, 
And I thought that base game ponytail might suit her best, but I went for the cats and dogs hair because, again, the bow um, and the updo kind of um, made me think of her whole lost toy life. Um, and it looks kind of like, um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Like, she did it herself. Well, obviously, most people do their hair themselves. But you know what I mean. She looks like she's just, she's ready to go. <laughs> I don't know. And I tried to give her traits and stuff that kind of related to that as well. I see her, I guess, as a very confident and capable person. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this sim. Like I say, I said that before. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I'm just... Oh, and I did have this kind of shiny skin finish that I ended up using on her in the end, but I'm not sure if I can link it or not because the website I got it from was um, NSFW. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you're allowed to link that kind of stuff on YouTube. It's called Oiled Up or something like that, I think. Um, so I'm sure you could find it if you searched it, but um, yeah, I didn't get it for that purpose. I mean, I guess the intended purpose. I really wanted just a shiny, plastic, metallic, porcelain looking, or artificial really, looking skin so I could make like dolls and androids and stuff like that. Um, that was my, um, that was why I sought it out. Um, not that there's anything wrong if you want to use it for other purposes, but that's why I wanted it. So, uh, yeah, I love Toy Story 4, like I said. Um, it was probably, um, I, it was one of those movies where I watched it and then I was emotionally distraught by I immediately wanted to watch it again. Although I've only seen it once so far. I loved Gabby Gabby as well. She was such a good antagonist. I felt like she was so sympathetic and relatable and I loved her. And I don't want to give anything away um, if you haven't seen the movie yet, but I think it would be cool to try to do a sim of her, but I'm not really sure how I would do it because her character design is more that of a toddler or a child, I feel like, although um, I would kind of want her to be a young adult so she's the same age as the other characters, you know what I mean? Oh, and the sheep! Um, I started out with a uh, Bedlington Terrier because they have that sheep-like look that they are known for, but I ended up going for the poodle cut because I thought that was more, um, uh, it looked more like how the sheep, um, are in the film. So, yeah, the sheep... They looked really ridiculous. I didn't want to make a hyper realistic sheep. I wanted it to be a bit more cartoony, um, of course, um, because her sheep aren't real sheep. They're little toy sheep. So yeah, I had, um, I don't know. You'll see how they turned out in the end and you can kind of decide for yourself. They really ended up looking like weird little alien creatures. <laughs> Um, oh, you know what's been on my mind lately? What color is Buzz Lightyear's hair? Um, oh, and the pink legs. Um, I kind of debated whether or not I should make the legs pink because, um, they're fluffy. Um, so that would be kind of weird to have pink wool on the legs when it's really like the skin texture that's supposed to be pink. But I ended up making the pink in the end anyways because I thought um, it just gave them a bit more personality. But oh, right, um, sorry, I'm getting off topic. Back to Buzz Lightyear's hair. What color is it? Because in the show, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, he, um, there's like um, a character who is an evil Buzz Lightyear from an alternate universe and he has a beard and his beard is dark blue. 
which would lead me to believe that Buzz Lightyear has blue hair because that Buzz Lightyear is exactly the same physically as the good Buzz Lightyear, but then the toy Buzz Lightyear from the movies has brown eyebrows, which would lead me to believe that his hair is either brown or blonde. Um, so I don't know, I'm really conflicted about what color I should headcanon Buzz Lightyear's hair as. Although you can have different eyebrow color than hair color. So um, I guess he could have, technically he could have blue hair and brown eyebrows. Um, I don't know, I'm very conflicted about this. Maybe I'll try to do <laughs> some drawings and figure out which hair color looks best for Buzz. Because I really, I want to know, and I do believe that he has hair underneath his little purple hood. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I don't know, um, I guess it'll be a surprise if I do make a Buzz Sim at any point what color his hair is gonna be. Um, I think I already know which color I'm leaning towards, though. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, so we are, I believe, approaching the end of the video. Um, I really like doing pets um, in The Sims 4. I love the painting tool, although I wish there was kind of like a layering system like they had in The Sims 2 and 3. So um, if you painted on one layer, um, genetically pets could inherit traits from that layer, but not another layer. So there was could be more diversity in the genetics of the painted pets, if that makes sense. Um, that would have been really cool, but it's okay the way it is. And I made them all sisters, and yeah. Oh, and another thing about the sheep. They have floppy ears in the movie, but um, they have little poofs above that, so I couldn't really do both, so I just went with the floppy poodle ears. Um, I hope they look okay. I don't really know, but let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video, and uh, bye!